and iOS learners, my name is Sunakshi Garg. Today we are going to talk about environmental management. This is the part 2 of the environmental management lesson. Environmental management is a buzzword today and everybody is trying to save the environment now. In this part of the lesson, we shall discuss the terms like eco-friendly and the solutions for reducing degradation to the environment at individual, community and government levels. So what is eco-friendly? Products and practices which do not degrade the environment are eco-friendly products. Another term used for eco-friendly is bio-friendly. So, here is a picture of a solar cooker which uses a renewable source of energy that is sunlight for daily cooking. This is a form of an eco-friendly practice. Products and practices are considered eco-friendly on the basis of their production, use and disposal. Production of eco-friendly products. If the manufacturer follows all the safety and preventive measures during production and takes care of waste products like treating the sewage and industrial wastes before letting them in the water or air, then such products are called eco-friendly on the basis of their production. Now, on the basis of use, what are eco-friendly products? If the product does not harm the environment by giving out poisonous gases or wastes while using, it is an eco-friendly product on the basis of its use. For example, lead in petrol is very harmful, but if it is removed from the petrol, then petrol becomes an eco-friendly. This is a form of use of eco-friendly products. Now on the basis of disposal, what are eco-friendly products? The packaging and leftovers of a product should be such that they are either biodegradable or can be recycled. For example, polythene cannot decompose and thus it becomes a nuisance as they choke the drains. So, they are non-biodegradable. On the other hand, paper bags can decompose and even be recycled to make other products like cardboard boxes, newspapers, etc. So, this is an example of eco-friendly products on the basis of disposal. Now, comparison of non-eco-friendly products and eco-friendly products. Here is a picture of a poly bag and a paper bag both. The poly bag over here represents a non-eco-friendly product because it is non-biodegradable. It does not decompose in the environment as such naturally. Here is another picture of a paper bag which represents an eco-friendly product because it is biodegradable. Here is a picture of a traditional chula and a smokeless chula. The traditional chula emits a vast amount of smoke, so it is non-eco-friendly. The smokeless chula over here does not use a vast amount of energy and also does not emit a vast amount of smoke. So, this practice over here of using the smokeless chula is an eco-friendly practice. Here is a picture of use of sunlight for home and daily cooking by using solar cookers. Here is a picture of a thermocol glass and earthen cups. We can see that the thermocol glass over here represents a non-biodegradable form of an article and it is non-eco-friendly. Here is another picture of earthen cups which are biodegradable and eco-friendly. The eco mark. Ministry of Environment and Forest has launched an eco mark in 1991. It is represented by the picture given below which is an earthen pot. Eco mark is given by the Bureau of Indian Standards that is the BIS. 
it symbolizes biodegradability and closeness to the environment. Ecomark ensures a minimum pollution control standard and environment friendliness in production, packaging and waste disposal. Comparison of non-eco-friendly and eco-friendly practices. In this part, we are going to compare practices which are eco-friendly and which are non-eco-friendly. Over here in the pictures, we have depicted waste disposal in the open and in open water bodies. Here is another picture of waste being disposed in a very proper way. Here are another two pictures of waste being disposed from an industry in an open water body which is the wrong practice and is non-eco-friendly. Here is another picture of waste being disposed via a sewage treatment plant. Here is a picture of, of open defecation which is a non-eco-friendly practice and another picture of an eco-friendly practice which is using the Sulap Shochalis now open throughout the country. Here is another picture of deforestation and planting of trees. It is obvious from these pictures that deforestation is a non-eco-friendly practice and planting of trees is an eco-friendly practice. So, at home we can adopt the principle of three R's reduce consumption, reuse articles and recycle wastes. The 3 R policy helps to prevent environment pollution. So what are the 3 R's? They are reuse, reduce and recycle. This is a picture showing the depiction of reduce, reuse and recycling. We can use such practices at home by reusing plastic bottles in such ways depicted in the pictures over here. Reuse of plastic bottles at home. Old plastic bottles can be used in a variety of way at home such as for growing plants and making lampshades. Reduce at home. Reduce the excessive and unnecessary consumption of human and non-human resources. Closing the door of the refrigerator will reduce the use of electricity and save money. Recycling at home. We can collect waste from the kitchen which is wet waste and put it in a pot. Cover the pot with leaves as such and it will develop into a compost which can be used as garden or plant pots as manure. Other measures to conserve the environment are use of solar panels for generating electricity, use of solar cookers and solar heaters, maintain sanitary conditions and adopt hygienic habits, ensure proper disposal of refuse, human excreta, etc. and avoid wastage. Avoid loudspeakers to celebrate, avoid smoking and use eco-friendly products at home. While going out, share cars and unleaded petrol should be used or compressed natural gas should be used. We can also use bicycles because it is an eco-friendly mode of transport. Or we can also use public transportation. Be close to nature. Each one of us should plant trees. Report any illegal felling of trees and cases of corruption, pollution to concerned authorities. Contribute funds for wildlife conservation. Government roles. Ensure that all industries are located far away from the cities. Enforce strict laws for pollution control in industries as well as vehicles. Ensure that all industries set up a waste treatment plant. Encourage the industries to link waste and reuse the waste of each other. This can be done by reusing 
the material from one industry which is given out as waste from that industry and that can be used by some other industry as their raw material such as waste given out from a steel industry can be used by some other industry for smelting of steel. Provide efficient waste disposal systems for domestic wastes. Educate the public on the causes and the effects of environmental degradation. This is also a major role the government has to play for protection of environment. Ensure healthy farm practices like using natural manures, crop rotation, mixed cropping, etc. Motivate people to grow trees. Conserve wildlife by maintaining the forest reserves. Create awareness among people about the many ways to protect the environment using various mediums of relevance. Maintain green environment in towns also. Let us all take a pledge now to save the environment, to save earth and to live a happy, healthy life in a very productive way. Thank you.